Jason's starting our day out being Mr. Fix-It in the house. Right? What did you do up there? Well, these were sagging down and it was annoying the crap out of me. So I figured out how to adjust them up so now they're flush. Oh, I'm going to check the filter and fix the thing in there. I'm going to wipe down the ceiling. It's got like cobwebs and... Gross. I don't know what the crud it is. And then our dishwasher is still broken, correct? Well, it washes. Well, maybe not anymore. No, I don't think it turned uh, on. Right? Yeah, it's doing the same thing now. This flashy green thing. Okay, where can we get an element? Well, I assume that. Do we have to problem. order it? Do we have to order it online? Yeah. I so I guess who has to unload all these dishes? And well, it's not very many. Huh? Not now. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna be Mr. Fix It after all. That's not Fix It. I can oh, order the part. I don't I know. No point doing anything until <laughs> I, I have know. the part. So all right. you and the kids can unload it. Smart. Okay, now what are you having our way doing? Where are you? Hi. He's on a roll. Are you fixing the hanging rack now? Yeah. Right there. The towels have had to go right there. No, this is, gonna work. is that just a new Molly or? Yeah, it's a, you put a ever bigger, bigger hole in the wall. He's not hammering his bitterness at all. No. Okay, so Dana showed it there a little bit, but um, finished this. You can see there. Got this, it was kind of coming loose off the wall. And so I put a new little molly in there. Got that fixed. Got the lights fixed here. I changed the filter in the, what is it? Furnace, air, whatever we got going on. The airflow in the house. Um, now I need to vacuum a spot upstairs. There's something else I need to do, but I can't remember what it is. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. <laughs> All right, sorry, you guys. We have been to Costco and to Safeway, the grocery store. Um, uh, the grocery store is so stressful for me. Like, nothing goes right at the grocery store. Costco is just the place to go. <laughs> I don't know why I have bad experiences at the grocery store. We have like a $70 Visa like gift card type thing and when I ran it I didn't have a pin number because they never gave me a pin number. Anyway, I'm digressing. It didn't work and so then we had stress. a stress. It worked. We ran it through as a credit but it's like two o'clock. We haven't filmed since we left the house. But Jason was just talking about, we were going through the girls' Christmas lists and making sure we have everything that we wanted to get them and everything that they wanted and all that kind of stuff. And our oldest, I'll just say this, she wants AirPods and it's not gonna happen. And she knows that it's not gonna happen. Too much. It's just too much money for one present because that would be her whole present, her whole Christmas. I think I've said that before, but I never said what the item was and Cause it, you know, I mean literally like a present that big and then that's your entire Christmas. Like I just, I'm not willing to do that. Other people do that and then they buy them a whole nother set of Christmas presents and I'm not financially or morally there. <laughs> not, morally. I don't want to like give my kids that much stuff. They don't need it. Anyway, so Jason was just joking and he's like, well maybe we should just give her a fake present. And what was it you said, Jace? I don't know, a box of air. Or no, we could get those little puffy packer patches that are just air. Okay. And then we could get Tide Pods and say, there's your air pods. <laughs> okay. So he said that. And then I said, oh, well, Chelsea and Ashley said that they should just wrap up their present for Kaylee in an old iPhone case. <laughs> like, that is cruel on both sides. Like, you guys are being so cruel because she got a phone last year for Christmas. And she's technically asked for a new phone already. She's like, mine's what? glitchy. Yeah, she asked she me. Asked, well, that didn't happen. I know. I was like, girl, your phone is not even a year old. You're not getting a new one. I'm not even getting a new phone. He is that. Not, you have an iPhone 6. I don't know what I got. He has an old phone, and he's not even getting a new phone. It works. So, I know it works. She's not getting a new phone until she can pay for it on her way to college. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I I'll tell you that right now. I know. Anyway, it's just kind of funny because... Um, I don't like my kids to have high expectations of what they no of what I'm willing to pay for. I'm not willing to pay for that. I told her in the future if she has like a secure like string of money 
coming a job a job or like a consistent you know if someone's like if you'll walk my dog once a week for him you know I'll pay you you know she has something lined up I said you're free to like once you're off of your contract that you're on right now paying for that phone or whatever you can pay the monthly charge and get yourself a new phone but you have to have a con consistent income in order to pay for that and she's like well how much would that be and I was like well you probably have a 20 or something dollar payment for the phone itself well, it better not ruin your phone then. I know <laughs> my drink nearly spilled on my phone and then you probably have to pay for your plan so you're talking $40 a month or so She's like, well, that ain't gonna happen. So she's she learning. Could make it happen. She could make it happen. Yeah. Just, she gets paid quite well in our neighborhood for babysitting and that kind of stuff. But I'm losing my drink. Ugh. Oh man. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, you guys. So Jason and I have been sitting here eating our lunch and trying to look up how to fix our dishwasher. And we wanted to like kind of talk to you guys about it. We have all our manuals saved here. Move your drink there. Ugh. And I made a huge mess with my lunch. I've got salad like all the way down in front of me. There's bad lighting for bad me. Lighting. My bad lighting. Bad lighting. Yeah, and your hair. <laughs> okay, so what we want to talk about was, um, and it is shower day for me. I'm <laughs> my my curls need to be done. So we we have the manual saved. <laughs> yeah. In a full, full this one is like inside the kick plate. It's really nasty. Yeah, that's kind of the inside instructions well, to help diagnose. First of all. Stuff. You did some research yesterday and the day before, and then I did a YouTube search for an element fix and how to decide. I've already looked at YouTube videos and stuff, but they all told me different things, different which is things. fine. So then I did a search and I found a video today from, I think it was like six months ago, and the guy taught us how to get into, what is it called? Diagnostic mode on the dishwasher. And it's like you'd have to touch the keys like nine times. I already did that to reset it. Right. And I removed the element. I am not, that's why. No, no, no I know. Okay, but in the video, that's I'm, why I removed the element. Went to Lowe's, but Lowe's doesn't carry the part. The, Lowe's okay. doesn't carry the element. Let me explain. So they gave me a card to go. He uh, thinks that I'm trying to no, one up I'm him. I'm walking you through the, where it began. Okay, so he did some stuff like what he just said <laughs> yesterday. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a kid home? Oh, it's Abby home. Hang on. Oh, it's Kaylee home from school. And that's she a cool will shirt. Get mad at me if I turn the camera on her. <coughs> anyway, so then today I looked at this video and it <coughs> we learned how to get into oh, stupid battery. Ugh. All right, got a new battery. So I had Jason go over and get it into diagnostic mode, and then it the clean button on the dishwasher blinks a certain number of times. And that tells you there's a code in these instruction manuals that tells you what's wrong with the dishwasher. Which was what I already thought it was, but yeah, we, we just didn't sure. know how to like look up that the code. The element wasn't completely broken, so it's like, is it bad? Is it not? But yeah, apparently the little dark spot. Yeah, is it's a burn break, mark. It's a break, so yeah. Which he also talked about in that video. Anyway, yeah. the diagnostic mode told us per the key code and this video that I watched today, and it's a forty dollar part. And we're, we initially looked at Lowe's to get the part, and it was the same price, but it won't get to us till Tuesday or later. And good old Amazon Prime, he wants to cancel our Prime. And I was yeah, like, wait. I want Disney. I know. I have Disney Plus on my phone now because my so friend. So for the first time in five years, I get to order something <laughs> that arrives in a day because otherwise yeah. nothing else does. Good thing we paid all those monthly dues. I get Amazon Prime shipping all the time. I don't care oh, just that I only days. get... Most of your crap does not come in one day. Or does it matter days. if it doesn't come in one day? You don't have to pay for Prime because it will still come. If you're not paying for Prime, you still But arrive. some things I need to have it sooner than but like most product, five to most ten days. Most products don't come that quick. Most products don't come for five to ten days. Yeah, Half so you of the don't have to pay for Prime and you'll still get all your wonderful stuff. But sometimes I need it sooner than that. I'm editing all the crap out about him talking about Amazon Prime and the need for it. I'm not talking about it any longer. The, every, the ordering it from Lowe's. Lowe's didn't have it, so and there's no place else to get it. So we went to Amazon. We have and it's it. going to be here on Sunday. Yeah, it is yeah. Friday afternoon. And it will be here Sunday, which well, means I will wash one load of dishes tomorrow. We got the kids Check out, it. check out. Hurry or else it goes into another day. Place your order. $32. He found an even better one as yours. Oh, okay. Decent. Yeah, that was mine. I just didn't want to use my Amex points. 
What? Um. No. No. Teenage problems. She's looking for her iPad. So now we have a and and fixing the element. Literally, you take out two bolts from the bottom. I already looked at this. You yeah, unscrew after two. you remove it from the cabinet, lay it down. You can do it without even unscrewing it from the dish from the face. No, you can't. He did it without even taking the whole dishwasher out. Under the tree. You have to undo the thing. Okay, I'm gonna he go show him the model. video of how I did it's it. It's a different model. I've already taken out the element. I know well, exactly I how it goes in and out. You have to. He might have had a different model. Actually, since you're so good at it, when it <laughs> arrives, you can put it in. You're gonna be here Sunday to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're so good at it. I might. I might show you up. Can I have this? What is it? Oh, she wants my salad. I'm gonna have to go and fight for that. No. Guys, it has been such a long day. I've got five teenagers in the other room, so I can't film them. Which is why I haven't been able to film for the past couple hours. I look like, I feel, I wanna go to bed. But now I can't, I have to stay up and chaperone. <laughs> I think that they're being good, and so Jason and I are gonna go up into our room and watch a movie. And I'm struggling with editing. This is like the fourth time I've tried to upload this video and I'm really annoyed with it. Um, you can tell I'm tired. My voice is tired. Um, doing daily videos, man, like, like filming yesterday and then posting it today is hard. I got clear to like four o'clock and I realized that one of our Elf on the Shelf videos didn't get edited for edited from yesterday to today posting it today and I was like goodness sakes I hate being on that schedule well you look a little disheveled just like I feel can I take this out for you should we call it a night Are you tired yeah. why'd you bring this to me that was the only reason why you brought it back to me dad I went to dad and he said go down to you to Come down to me. Are you watching in your room? Yeah. All right. Well, it should work now. I don't know. Yeah, it's back on. Okay, but are you going to go to sleep? <laughs> I don't believe you at all. Okay. I don't have a neck. You don't have a neck? <laughs> 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 you goober. You're funny. All right. That one really shall steal it. Well, that's because we've had too many kids here, huh? And they, of course, show off when there's kids here. And anyway, um, I'm going to go to bed. Not bed. We're going to pull a TV out into our bedroom and watch um, Angel Has Angels Have Fallen or something like that. Looks really, really good. And then tomorrow I got the Peanut Butter Falcon to watch. Um, I like to see my tree out there. It's kind of nice. I'm hoping for a calm, relaxing day tomorrow because these kids are coming back over to hang out. I don't know. Teenage life is going to be hard for me, but I'm going to have to get used to it. I want to be the home where kids want to come. And Kaylee has a friend whose house is a fun house for them to play at, but I think we need to take turns. So it's my weekend with the kids. <laughs> guess you could say that. But I'm gonna end it tonight. It wasn't Jason and I were busy all day long, but we're doing things that we couldn't really edit. I mean they couldn't really like film. He kinda tinkered a lot more. We have that part coming for the dishwasher um on Sunday. I had to rewash all the dishes again tonight. I had to feed these kids. So there's more dishes. I just had them use plastic ones and throw them away because I'm sick of doing dishes. But I'm gonna call it a night. You don't need to hear me babble. Sorry this wasn't, if I have anything extra I can add tomorrow to this video, I will. Otherwise, I'm so sorry this is a little bit boring. But you got Jason and I's banter, so there's that. Okay, take care. Good night.